It's a division matchup. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Cleveland Indians. Coming at you on 2K Sports. It's Monday night, and 2K Sports has MLB. Hi, everybody. Gary Thorne alongside Steve Phillips and John Crutch. Just moments from now, Eric Bedard. He'll be bringing his stuff to the mound to try and put up a W. Progressive field and the loud crowd here to support the Indians. Fausto Carmona, the sinker baller, our starting pitcher. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Fausto Carmona has some of the best movement of any pitcher in the major league. The problem is he can't command it. He has to focus on throwing everything down the middle of the plate and let his natural movement take it to the corners. If he starts it at the corner, he's going to fall behind in the count and get in trouble. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, the potential's all there for Carlos Quentin to step up and be a star. This guy has it written all over him. He's trying to work on his consistency, though. Sometimes his batting average dips down too low. But I tell you what, there's no one in the league that has more power than him. He can hit it out of the ballpark anywhere. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. That well, was the White Sox taking the win yesterday. We got a match aggressive B going right now. This is a 12 game win streak. And not a lot of streaks go deeper. Right, today is one of these joyful days when you get to watch a team that's clicking on all cylinders. Starting pitching, relief pitching, the hitting. The only question mark is right now, can they make this last? The pitch from Carmona. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. Oh, and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. Uh, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it, and getting the runner out just in time. That could be a great way to start the offense if you can get a runner like that on, because that's really a steal when you do. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Hot shot towards the hole. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Well, with one out here and a guy on first base, the last thing you want to do is hit into a double play. Let's see if he can stay away from that. And Paul Canerco to bat. Uh, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So, got to be seeing the ball pretty well. That's two gone. Now we'll take a quick look at the Indians, how they line up on the field. And, uh, Steve, individual factors out there. Well, as Drupal Cabrera has great versatility up the middle. It doesn't matter where you play him. He has great range and instincts and the ability to be able to throw from any position on the field. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. A runner on first with two outs. The pitch from Carmona. Shot back to first. And he's there to retire the sun. No runs at a base. And doing the pitching, it'll be Eric Bedard. He gets settled in for Chicago. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Cleveland lineup. Well, veteran left-hander Eric Bedard out on the mound. He's been hampered by injuries in recent past, but when he's healthy, he's productive. Quality, command of the fastball, outstanding breaking pitch, and a feel for the changeup. As a hitter, you have to be ready for all the different pitches. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. As a win last time out for the Indians, and that was a big game for them considering they lost games one and two of the series against the Royals. Hit hard on the ground towards third. Over to Canerco. One away. Line up for the Indians. We'll take a look. Courtesy of Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Johnny Peralta is a great hitter. He has power. He can provide some pop for this team. Let's see if he can do that today to get his team a win. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Here's the pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Now a quick look for this game with the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Number seven. Highlight Steve for these fielders. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. It's going to be Laporta now. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see his last game, he picked up a couple of RBIs in that one. Swing of the bat. Ground ball to 
towards second. He's up with it. Gets one at second. And there's the second out of double play. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitches. Nothing doing for either side scoring wise here in Cleveland. Middle of the lineup coming along. And Beckham's in the box. He's going to get us started. Second inning. Number 50, Gordon Beckham. Hit hard on the ground to short. That's one away. Here are the lineups, the highest on base percentage for the past 10. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Mariners. The Twins third. Fourth, the Jays. And at number five, it's the Angels. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. Two men have been put away. This one's hit high enough that the right fielder was able to get into foul territory, know where the wall is, and make the catch. Nice job. It's going to be Przinski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. Swing and a miss on a ball below the knees. Nothing in one. And the 0-1 by Carmona. There's a swing and a line drive. And that's going to do it. Cabrera is there. It goes quickly for Fausto Carmona. One, two, three. He's put in some effective pitching so far. And we'll see the Indians next. Part of the order due to bat next. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And leading it off, Shinsu Chu. Bedard gets set and delivers. Cut on and missed, and it's 0-1. Good change up. It's quickly 0-2. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it drops in for a base hit. It's going to bring up Johnny Peralta. Already nearing the end of August and courtesy of State Farm. Let's see how the American League wildcard race is matching up. In first place, it's the Yankees. Mariners in second place. Third, the Royals. Orioles fourth. It's the Rays in fifth. And it's the Blue Jays last. Well, wildcard teams have had amazing success when it comes to the postseason. So these teams battling out for the American League wildcard know that if they get there, they've got a legitimate chance to go to a World Series. And this is inside. That got him pretty good. Well, they set up inside, but he threw it a little too far inside. Make your base. And it'll be Balbuena standing in to hit. Well, Gary, that hit batter we just saw now two runners on base. A little rally starting here, and maybe the pitcher getting a little bit rattled. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. Here's Bedard with a 1 0 pitch. On the outside corner, 1 and 1. Now you watch and see how the hitters react to it. Are they looking for that next pitch down the middle, or they think maybe they got to wait him out? And the pitcher has to regroup. He's got to settle down out there, not panic, to get back in the strike zone. That's in there. Should score the runner. And Peralta scoring as well. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now, because they are hot. That's two RBIs on that hit. Here's our WPA graph, courtesy of Pepsi. And Brantley's in the box. Now this offense, Steve, it's on the move, and now they're trying to carry this on in the ballgame. Uh, Gary, we just saw quality at bat right there. He got the job done. When he got his pitch, he knew what to do with it, and he delivered. And now time is called. This is going to be the first time we've had a visit to the mound. Now it's going to be a conference time, Gary. They might not take him out here, but it's pretty likely they're going to make a change soon. It may be stalling for time. And a look at that one, but can't come up with it. 
as Ralph Kiner our old buddy used to say you know good at bats is one where you get production and that's what they got right there. Yeah but he's also the guy who said you can't win the game unless you take the lead. Right and Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. The hitter's got to be in defense mode right here. Just looking to make contact. Got to shorten up the swing. Curveball. Got him one away. At 80 miles per hour, that's pretty good movement right there. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. Brazabon into the batter's box. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed 0-1. You know, I'd actually sit on this guy's curveball. It's an exceptional pitch, but it's his go-to pitch. You can predict when he's going to throw it, and maybe you're going to have a shot. That's two gone. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. Final game with Cleveland is Wednesday. That team enjoying a stretch of great performances recently. It will be a three-game series. Team that's really playing well lately. So they'll be out and about over a good bit of that upcoming schedule. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. And that down and in to even the count at one. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Ground ball up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So the pitching breaks down a bit here in the second. They get out to a two run lead. The bats are working. The Indians on top, two to nothing. The third inning. Manny Acton, look on camera. He got what he needed out of his lineup that last time through. This lead now something he can try to protect if he can get some solid pitching. And Mark T into bat. He's a big home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. That's going to one hop off the wall. He'll hold there at second base. Credit him with a double. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. Right there in the top five in home runs. And he's back easily. Made a dive to get in. The pitch from Carmona. Strike and that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Now, Gary, the pitcher pulled the string on this one. It looks like a fastball, and then it just out. dies out as it gets to the plate. plate. But a good late right. movement. Left Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a case. His pitches complement one another. They work off of each other, and he used a tremendous sequence right there. One, two, three. Strike out. See you later. And it's Johnny Damon, one of the best yeah, batting yeah. averages in the league. At the plate. So that one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, Alexi the key Rivera. part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. Runner standing at third. Here's Alexei Ramirez. He's number one in runs scored in the league. That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. You try to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. You see a good inning from Fausto Carmona. He has a shutout through three innings of work. And we'll see the Indians next. It's a perfect night for baseball. The uh, grass lit up here. Beautiful green of progressive field. Very comfortable night. And it's Grady Sizemore in the box now. And frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. And he starts Sizemore out. He watches the first pitch. That ends up in the zone. Strike one. Swing soft liner towards right center. And Sizemore has got himself a single. So it's Ruben Cabrera will come up. A chance here to check out where Grady Sizemore ranks in the league. Eighth in triples, ninth in walks. And as you can tell, speed part of his ball game as well. Ranked among the top 15 base stealers in the league. A guy that can catch you by surprise, but can't even steal a base when you think it's coming. It is fair. Nobody.
nobody could get to it a base hit. Now Cleveland, here's the chance they want. Well, I guess we should have expected a good game from him. Two hits in his last game, and these two come during a terrific hitting streak. The first pitch. Ground ball headed for the middle. And he scoops it up. That's one out. And that's two. A double play. Right fielder. Number 17. Chew into the batter's box. He's one for one so far. Bedard gets set and delivered. Takes that first pitch low in the strike zone. Strike one. Called strike outside corner. Quickly in the hole now. 0 and 2. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball. Pounding the strike zone. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Here's a swing and a line drive. And that's the third out. That'll do it. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Cleveland two. The White Here's a look at Ozzie. Ozzie Gian. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. And Paul Kodarko to lead it off. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canerco out. Fastball swung out of miss, 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Where are your hit leaders for the month? Brought to you by State Farm. Leading the MLB in batting average. No one out and a runner on first. And here's the first one. The grounder to Peralta. And it is through. The tying run is on. And a moment to check out uh, what Cleveland has coming up. The Chicago series ending on Wednesday. They hit the road for what should be a competitive series. The Mariners at Safeco Field. That kicks off on Thursday night. Then they'll continue the road trip for the next series. The Angels hosting that one. So not too bad a schedule for them coming up. They'll be looking for some W's. This a great situation for some offense. And the 0-1 by Carmona. Lined right at the second baseman. And it's in there. They're going to try and score Canerco. This one rolls through to the wall. And Canerco will score. Now and the White the Sox, they the just Chicago keep White rolling. Center fielder, number 51, Alex Rios. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back. For the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And he comes home. That's it. We are tied. He comes in to score, and they're going to get the lead. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now because they are hot. Runner on first. The pitch from Carmona. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. But well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. He's hacking at the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. A line drive towards short. And it's in there that hitting streak continues. Rios towards third base. The throw. And he's waved home. And Rios comes in. Now you get repeat opportunities. The question is what you do with it. What they're doing with it here is using it. Mark you get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second.
Fausto Carmona gets ahead with that pitch, and it's 0 2. Uh, great stuff from the pitcher. Now he's ahead 0 2. He can go in so many different directions. Lined foul towards third. And Tian swings and misses strike three. A credit to pitcher right there. Good two strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that even if he had made contact. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. Career numbers one for two against David Huff. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. There's a swing line drive center field. And again this lineup right now on fire. That now, will bring up Johnny Damon. He bounced out his last time. Two men on, one out. Hit sharply towards the hole. And Pierzynski comes in. Oh, this offense. Every opportunity they get, they manufacture something out of it. Alexi Ramirez. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base. If he pulls. Liner towards the hole. Now, well, Alexi Ramirez's back. season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second double, third most in hits. Uh, he, you notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. A swing, line drive, deep left field. He has to back up for it, comes away with the out. They've got the bases loaded now. Well, they followed the advanced scouting report to a tee. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away, while leading the league in home runs. Here's the pitch. This ball is hammered deep right. It's off the wall and right. There's the throw. And Damon also comes in. And so they bring in two here. And he pulls into second base. Good enough for three RBI. One of the offensive leaders in the game this year. And obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense. And somebody they've really come to rely upon. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. And Beckham's in the box. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup, just stay in charge. Right now they are. The runs just keep on coming right now. Quality of bat after quality of bat. A lot of outs left, but you know what? It looks to me like they're getting ready to put this one away early. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. And he starts Rios out. The grounder to Peralta. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they put some distance between themselves and their opponents here with this big inning. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. For his career, 227 off the White Sox. Bedard gets set and delivers. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And it's in there. Base in. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average. And they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Takes a call. It's strike one. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. 
But Gary's to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Bedard gets set Go and out. delivers. Swing and a miss on the breaker, one down. Well, and the sad thing is the runner on second base had nowhere to go as he rings up the batter on four pitches. And obviously, John Pitcher decided, I'm going to worry about the hitter here and get him out of there. Yeah, and we'll see if he can strand the runner again with some more great pitching. This is that fastball already 0-2. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that here. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. When you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. And the first pitch. And that's in for a strike. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. That oh, one misses. It gets away from the catcher. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Strike Fastball two. called strike two. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. Throws to first side is retired. They get a man to third, but can't bring him home. None other than Manny Axel there. And a bit of frustration at this point. Not the game he'd hoped, at least now. Leading it off, A.J. Przinski. And he's in the top echelon of hits right now. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect 0-1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. That brings up Mark Tian. Now State Farm brings you the teams leading the way in extra base hits for the month. Number one, the White Sox. The Angels in second. Blue Jays third. Fourth, the Red Sox. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. He deals. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And that'll put Tien on first. Well, most hitters love that ball elevated so they can try to hit it out of the ballpark. But this is not one of these hitters. He loves the ball down in the strike zone. That's why he got that big knock right there. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. A smash. Goodbye. A three-run homer. Well, another one right there, Gary, and that's two home runs and for this team today, and it's they're spreading the wealth. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. No outs and nobody on base. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. And a big, big offensive day, Steve. Like you said, uh, they've just got the bats rolling today. Well, tough. It's going to be very tough for them to come back right now. The, the power numbers being there. I mean, at three innings left, but an awful lot of offense. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. You got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KK. Alexi Ramirez. And I think uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off speed pitch the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. First pitch was a strike, 0 and 1 now. Well, it's tough to tell a hitter to stay back on a fastball, but this is what he needs to do. He's jumping out, trying to get to it, and is just way out in front. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. Here's the Central Division race with September just around the corner. Looking at the State Farm standings board, it's the White Sox in first. Second place, the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making us all look silly. 
And it's Paul Canerco now. He leads the American League and runs batted in. Line towards first. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Runner on first, two away. Got on and missed on one. He has not hit well in this matchup. 188 against the Indians. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. If you didn't get a chance to watch the last ball game, let's bring up the speed. A two-run home run in that ball game for him and a chance to, to deliver with runners on base. And so I think they got to be looking to get somebody on in front of them today as well. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Leading off the bottom of the fifth. Inning. It's so going to be Rice right now. Catcher. Number 65, Bob. Now Rice. the first pitch. He makes contact, line drive. And that gets through for a base hit. And he is safe at first. He's on board. So that'll bring up Grady Sizemore. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. That's one away. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. It'll be Carlos Quinton and the Chicago White Sox. They take their game to Boston to challenge the Red Sox at Fenway. Things will get going at 1.30 Eastern. And Cabrera settles in. His lifetime average 288 against the White Sox. Strike one. And he gets this one by him on one. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. And Cabrera swings, hits it. And he gets it down. That's his third hit, three for three. He's going to try for third. And he makes it the third with time to spare. The throw. Now Cleveland, here's the chance they want. Number seven. Runners at second and third, only one away. Bedard gets set and delivers. Ball. Oh boy, and now they can run. He throws. Not in time, and he scores. They just have to eat this one. The run's going to score in the air. Well, he boot that one, and obviously leading to a run scored right there. So you can't make those kind of mistakes and still win ball games. Here's one swung on and missed. Hit in the air to left center. Damon. And he gets over and pulls it in for the out. The teams who have been reaching home the most over the past 10, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Mariners in second. Blue Jays third. Fourth, the Rays. And number five, the Indians round it out. Well, there are stretches during the season when every team struggles to score runs. But these two teams right now in these last 10 games have found a way to be able to throw runners across the board. They're doing it in every single way conceivably possible. They're doing it with power. They're doing it with speed. They're complete off. Hit up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. Not good enough that time. He scores. Cleveland continuing to deliver big offense. Number three. Johnny Peralta. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. So they can't make the play. But Jerry, to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from them. At the belt, the 1-0. Here's a called strike. They're going to like their approach here right now. I mean, they know they just need to get base runners. When you get base runners, give yourself up. That one swung on its line, and there's the third out. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. 
the Indians hoping they can somehow dig their way out of this one. And Beckham's in the box. He homered earlier in the ball game. Big time player right now. Three RBIs, two great defensive plays. Major contributions in this one. First pitch on the way. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. He has to back up for it, comes away with the out. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. Here's the delivery. Can't connect, it's 0-1. Well, this is what they need to do right now is retire leadoff man. You can't let a leadoff man keep getting on because they keep coming around to score. Hot shot towards the hole. And it gets through a two for four ball game. Now batting for the Chicago A good White piece Sox. of hitting right there with Andrew, one out. Now 12, let's see what they can AJ do with him Krasinski. now that they've got a man on first. It's going to be Brzezinski. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. 0 and 1. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball drilled down the right field line. That one's into the corner. Two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Now and Mark Tiana. Base is empty base with one away. Number 25, Mark Tian. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0 and 1. Well, you viewers at home, if you'd like to see a lot of fireworks, hang in because right now it's just all over this yard. Now the power being shown off here. Another home run, and it's a highlight reel of power. Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. Two outs and nobody on. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swing and a miss. Strike one. A 249 lifetime average off Cleveland. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. The White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Look at ahead, six of an eight. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And the first pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect 0-1. Well, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of four seam fastball down and away it's tough to hit. Got him there that was a nice strikeout. And Brantley's in the box. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Back up the middle. And that's through a base hit. And now we've got a moment to see how the Indians are doing rank wise in the American League. Third in triples, fifth in batting average with runners in scoring position. And this offense, that ability to drive the ball, a real asset for them. A doubles machine ranked in the top 10 in doubles. One out man on first. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Here's the pitch. And he fouls off another one. And another foul ball. foul ball. And it holds at 0 and 2. Foul. Swing and a foul straight back. Yeah. 
slider swung out and missed. Two down. For the Cleveland Indians. Now, Gary, that's an outstanding slider. That's great late action with two strikes. Not much you can do with that one. Tough one to hit. It's going to be Rice now. He had a single in his last time up. Called strike on one. Well, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. One and one. Fouled off. Now Przinski sets up. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. And it'll be the White Sox. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Well, it's always nice to have a defensive replacement coming off the bench and holding a lead or holding a deficit and giving yourself a chance to win. Now he needs to come up with a big play. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. The pitch, hard grounded a short, fielded by Cabrera. He's and so Damon retired. For the Chicago White Sox. Shortstop. And it's Alexei Ramirez Alexei now, one away. Ramirez. He flew out his last time up. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Now swing and a shot toward second. Up, Two Chicago, away. Up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. First base. And, and Paul Canerco to bat. Had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. Two outs, base is empty. And he starts Canerco out. And that's by him 0-1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. That's it, foul by Canerco. And he cannot pull the trigger. Paul Canerco strikes out. Nothing doing here in this half inning. Get up and stretch. Seventh inning, Cleveland. The top of the order is due up next. Grady signs one up. Center fielder, number 24, Grady signs four. Hi. And we'll get to see Tony Pena pitching. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. Steve, as he gets into this Cleveland lineup, what's he looking at? When you bring in a guy out of the bullpen, you like to have some power stuff, and that's what Tony Pena brings. Power with that fastball. Now, he doesn't have a great secondary pitch. A slider is okay. He relies mostly on that fastball, so here's a good look to be aggressive early in the count. The Cleveland Indians. Shortstop. Number and Cabrera settles in. He doubled his last time. Here's the first pitch. Up the middle. Wow, that was close. Right back up the middle. Almost got him. That'll bring Matt Laporta to the plate. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. One down, runner at first. And here's the first one. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. A nice stop by the first baseman there, but the runner able to advance in the scoring position. Lays off a called strike of the knees, 0 and 1. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here. Ball. Sin Chu Chu, not fooled by that one, and that's going to even up the count. He watches one at the knees, and it's one and two. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. Well, it was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. Eighth inning of baseball coming right along. You're looking there at Manny Acton. And uh, tough decisions, maybe, or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. He'll try to give it to him. And Quinton settles in. He's going to lead off here as we go to the eighth. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Well, Buena. He's one away. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down.
One out, nobody on. Pitch on the way. There's a ball. Hit well. A high drive deep into center field. Out of here. Goodbye home run. Now they add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. Rios. And he starts Rios out. Swings and misses the good change right there on one. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of there? Ball Gets in front, stopped it. It's in the dirt. Swing, hot shot. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. One out. Runner on at first. Here's the pitch. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. A four for six career record against David Huff. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. You're fastball out. got him two down. Well, a great job getting it 0-2. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste the pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. He swings and nails a liner. Now State Farm brings you the RBI leaders for the past 10 games. Well, these are the guys that make the most money because they're the ones who impact the game in a big way, driving in the critical runs that lead to a team's success. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. He homered earlier in the ballgame. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs, scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0-1. Swing and a long high drive left field way back there. Say goodbye, a three run homer. Now back. With that three run homer, they just extended their lead. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. That'll do it as they put that one away. But not before they tally four times thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And Johnny Peralta to lead it off. One for two in the ball game. Number three. Johnny. Here's the pitch to Peralta. And there's ball one. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Now the 1-0 pitch. Well hit towards the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. Retiring Peralta. And it'll be Balbuena standing in to hit. Trying to get here. Just one for three thus far. Well, he's already driven in a couple runs in this one, Gary. you got to believe they're going to pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. First pitch. Oh, and he takes a call strike. You know, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Pena with a strike two. Good pitch. Uh, no more, no more. Ground ball to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. And so Valbuena is retired. Now we take a moment to look at the pitching staffs allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals in second. In the third spot, the Orioles. The Yankees fourth. And we've got the Twins who are number five. Well, these teams have a clear understanding that base on balls can come back to haunt the pitcher. They do not give in. They force the opposition to beat them rather than beating themselves. 
Here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed, and the sides retired. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. And it'll be the White Sox. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. You know, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. And Paul Canerco to bat. Not looking last time. And he starts Canerco out. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. Here's the delivery. Swing and a hot shot. And Canerco's got himself a single. And that's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Story of power hitting. State Farm brings you a look at the long ball league leaders. Well, this is a list of hitters that strikes fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. Runner at first with one down. First pitch to Quinton. Line shot into center field. Two down. I mean the bat for the Chicago White Sox. Second and Beckham's in the box. He's already homered twice in this one. I they're having a big offensive day. I think that's pretty obvious, but clearly one of the major components of this offense are his at bats. I mean, two home runs. He's swinging the bat very well. Looks so comfortable at the plate. Line down the right field line, but a foul ball. Well, that's a shot into the stands right there. That's just self-defense, but a nice play. Got to be a collection taken by those around him. He just saved somebody a big time hurt and got one of his own. Oh, that had to sting a little bit. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Hit sharply towards the hole. I mean the bat. Well, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. Two on, two out for Alex Rios. His lifetime batting average not good. 226 against the Indians. To left center, and that's going to be a base hit for Rios. We'll have a look at who's hitting with runners in scoring position brought to you by State Farm. Now, clutch hitters are hard to find. It means they have to maintain their focus and control their emotions and let the game come to them. And these guys clearly get that done. Two outs. Base is loaded. And here's the first one. There's a swing and a smash. This one to Sizemore. And there's the third out. Well, they load the bases on the strength of three base hit. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. First pitch, here it comes. Cut on and missed 0-1. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. And uh, we'll get to see Jake Peavy pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a oh. new arm into this one. Slider misses. One ball, one strike. Well, Gary, that's a slider down and away, and it just slides out of the strike zone. The best hitters in the game lay off it because they know if they put it in play, it's an out. Two, the count. You're Big out. swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. 
Bunny you love what Number he did 65. right there. There's no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Right. Well, just a hello, how you doing, and see you later. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Great one! Keeps it down that time, 0-2. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. Wow. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Jenks oh. with a delivery. And that one will head all the way to the backstop for a ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. This one's right down the middle. He just swung and missed it. Got to check his back for a and Grady signs more up. He's gone two for six against Jenks. Swing and a foul straight back. Up the middle, Jenks. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. Dominating performance, Gary. Now we get a recap of one of the outstanding individuals. He's our Pepsi Clutch performer. The standout man on offense today, Carlos Quinton. Well, you know, Gary, everyone thinks that the home run's the only way to drive and run, but not in this game today. This guy, every time he had runners in scoring position, he delivered for his team, and he cashed in when he got the chance in this one. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crockett and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.